In medical research, although you're not directly working with patients treating their conditions, you do play a large role in humanity's global search for new, safer and more effective pharmaceuticals which benefit people now and also in the future. One of the best things about studying at the University of Adelaide is the passion and the enthusiasm the professors bring to the bring to the courses. Just that would that just makes the studies so much more enjoyable and encourages you to to move further into it when they're equally as passionate about what they're teaching. I was actually an undergraduate student who undertook the Bachelor of Health Sciences when it was originally called that. And it was in my third year at uni that unfortunately uh, one of my friends died from a traumatic brain injury and we were also learning about traumatic brain injury at that time. I was just fascinated with the research that was going on at the uni and learning about that at that time that had a real impact on me and I realised that through research I could actually make an impact and help to improve or change people's lives or even save lives. And so that was a real draw card for me in pursuing a career in research and then naturally um, took up the opportunity when I could um, to return to the University of Adelaide as both a senior lecturer and a researcher. It was a very uh, welcoming and very supportive environment to, to study in. It was very open and diverse so you could pursue what you wanted to pursue. The way that the program has been developed, it really takes the students in a scaffolded way, really allows the students to grow and discover what their passions are and follow that through to their chosen major. In the first year in the Bachelor of Health and Medical Sciences program, the core course is Create, Communicate, Connect. This course is all about uh, really developing your skill set, developing um, your researching and writing skills, your group work skills, your communication, um, and also developing your career awareness. We really want to help you um, develop your awareness of where this degree can take you. In the Bachelor of Health and Medical Sciences Advanced Program, the first year core course is a little different. It's called Clinical Skills and Simulation, and it is all about developing um, those clinical skills early on in your degree. In the second year of the Bachelor of Health and Medical Sciences, the core course is Reflect, Research, Resolve, and this really builds upon uh, some of the foundational skills that you've learnt in first year and starts to get you to problem solve a little bit more, so starting to think about how you would tackle some trickier questions and solve them. The second year core course within the Bachelor of Health and Medical Sciences advanced program is called Hacking Health and this really exposes you to uh, building upon the first year core course but also starting to problem solve, um, looking at cutting edge technology and how this can be implemented within health and health systems. Also within the advanced course, there is one third year core course called Innovation and Entrepreneurship. This is really now focused in on understanding uh, innovative ways to impact on health and developing your entrepreneurial and leadership skills to be leaders within the health field. Third year is when I chose my major in clinical trials. I, I found that I had a strong passion for, for data and studies, which made choosing the major of clinical trials quite a an obvious choice. What got me interested in pursuing the role of a study assistant was that it's a really excellent gateway into the vast world of the clinical trial industry. I work directly with the participants that participate in our trials. Um, I do the vital assessments, the electrocardiograms, I collect blood from cannulas as well as direct venipuncture. I also administer the investigational product to them as well as monitor and detect the adverse events they may experience. Every day you'll work with different departments and people like doctors and lab staff and people that analyze statistics and that gives you a really good insight and perspective into what future pathways you might be interested in taking. Excitingly, within both programs we have a capstone third year research uh, course. So this is a chance for students to really get their hands dirty and learn firsthand what it's like to be a researcher. They are mentored and supervised by some of the outstanding researchers we have within the university. And they also get to learn a lot of transferable skills, problem solving, writing, communication, and also working in a group. So some of the soft skills that the university trained me for would particularly be teamwork. Through working in this environment, I've come to see that it's those soft skills that I've learnt during that time has been very beneficial to my career here at CMAX. There is a really 
broad range of career pathways that students can take from this degree. In addition, students who do decide to go on and do further study have often reported back to us that this degree has helped them be ahead of the game compared to their peers in postgraduate courses. If you are really interested in, in health and human biology, then this degree will really give you the foundational knowledge and the skills to pursue a career in this landscape.